Greetings, fearless adventurers, to the crimson tapestry of womanhood, menstruation. It's a topic often shrouded in secrecy, but today we're tearing down the veil. So, strap in for an enlightening journey through the hormonal wonderland where science gets sassy, and we uncover the intricate dance that happens when Aunt Flo makes her grand entrance. Pour yourself a cup of chamomile, grab your favorite heating pad, and let's embark on this delightful, occasionally inconvenient, and perfectly natural world of menstruation. If you're a guy stumbling onto this adventure, don't worry. We've got a seat for you too on this period roller coaster. Let's go. The science behind the scene, a hormonal roller coaster. The menstrual cycle is orchestrated by a group of hormones, primarily estrogen and progesterone. These hormones work together to prepare the uterus for potential pregnancy. When pregnancy doesn't occur, progesterone levels drop, triggering the shedding of the uterine lining, which is what we experience as a period. The cycle of change. Understanding the four phases. The menstrual cycle is typically divided into four phases. One, menstruation, the actual shedding of the uterine lining, lasting about three to seven days. Two, follicular phase, the start of a new cycle where estrogen levels rise causing follicles in the ovaries to mature. 3. Ovulation, the release of an egg from the ovary, typically around day 14 of a 28-day cycle. 4. Luteal phase, the time after ovulation, when progesterone levels rise, preparing the uterine lining for implantation. Now let's deep dive into the three main phase and what goes on behind the scenes. Phase 1. The ovulatory overture, science gets the spotlight. Our journey kicks off with the ovulatory overture, a prelude to the main event. As the menstrual cycle begins, the ovaries unleash an egg into the fallopian tubes, waiting for Mr. Sperm to make his entrance. This hormonal ballet, orchestrated by estrogen, is like a Broadway show, with the egg as the star and the uterus as the grand stage. And then, cue the drum roll. If Mr. Sperm doesn't make an appearance, it's time for the ovary to gracefully exit stage left, making way for the next act. You can. Picture this. Your ovaries are like event planners, releasing an egg and prepping for a potential baby bash. But if no baby is on the guest list, the egg makes a graceful exit, leaving your uterus to clean up and reset for the next possible shindig. It's like hosting a party, but without the actual party. Phase 2. The main event, the red carpet unrolled. Now enter the main event, menstruation, the red carpet moment that garners mixed reviews. As the curtain rises, the uterine lining, once primed for a potential baby party, decides to pack up and leave if there's no RSVP from a sperm. This departure involves a spectacular shedding, accompanied by a show-stopping release of prostaglandins, the hormones responsible for the cramps that can make you feel like you're starring in your own personal drama. In simpler terms, when no baby shows up, your uterus throws a little clean-up party, shedding its cozy lining. This might come with cramps and mood swings, thanks to some hormonal helpers called prostaglandines. It's like a mini-drama inside your belly. The dramatic divas causing those cramps, someone get them an award. Phase 3 the hormonal hangover, dealing with the fallout. Post-main event, the body experiences a hormonal hangover. Estrogen and progesterone levels drop, causing mood swings that rival a Shakespearean tragedy. Cue mood swings that make you feel like you're in a soap opera. Happy one minute, tearful the next. Who needs soap operas when your hormones are already putting on a daily emotional show? Maintaining cleanliness, the do's and don'ts. Now that we've explored the science behind the scenes, let's talk about the practical aspects of maintaining cleanliness during this monthly spectacle. The do's. One, choose comfort. Opt for breathable cotton underwear to avoid creating a humid environment. The last thing your nether regions need is a tropical vacation. Two, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Water is your best friend helping to flush out toxins and keep everything flowing smoothly. Three, switch to showers. Ditch the scalding baths. Hot water can intensify cramps. A warm shower is like a gentle hug for your achy muscles. Four, change menstrual products regularly. 
tampons, pads, or menstrual cups should be changed every four to eight hours to prevent bacterial growth. Five, cleanse gently. Use mild soap and water to clean the vulva, avoiding harsh fragrances or douches. The don'ts. One, say no to fragrance. Skip scented products down there. Your vagina has its own unique scent. Let it shine without interference. Two, avoid harsh soaps. Stick to mild, unscented soaps to avoid disrupting your natural pH balance. 3. Banish wetness. Change pads or tampons regularly to avoid creating a breeding ground for bacteria. No one wants uninvited guests at this party. Easing the pain. Tips for comfort and confidence. Now, let's tackle the age-old question. How to make this monthly ordeal a tad more bearable? 1. Plan ahead. Keep track of your cycle and stock up on menstrual products to avoid running out. 2. Heat it up. Apply a heating pad to your lower abdomen for comforting warmth. It's like a spa day for your uterus. 3. Move it. Gentle exercises like yoga or walking can ease cramps and boost your mood. It's like telling your hormones, I'm the boss here. 4. Embrace comfort food. Dark chocolate, nuts, and fruits can be your allies providing nutrients and a delicious distraction from the monthly turmoil. 5. Cramps Over-the-counter pain relievers like ibuprofen or naproxen can help ease cramps. A heating pad can also provide relief. And there you have it. Menstruation, while sometimes inconvenient and uncomfortable, is a natural and essential part of a woman's health. It's a sign of a functioning reproductive system and the potential to create new life Instead of viewing menstruation as a nuisance, let's embrace it as a reminder of our incredible biological capabilities. So, the next time Aunt Flo RSVPs to the monthly party, greet her with a knowing smile, armed with the wisdom of our Crimson Chronicles. Until next time, stay curious, keep challenging the status quo, and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and turn on that notification bell, because MindLimes is your hub where curious minds unite in a desert of seriousness. This is your host signing off. See you in our next value-packed videos. Until then, adios and take care.